Yes, exactly. So getting into your dream school is supposed to be the hard part, right? But who knew that it was going to be such a problem trying to find a place to live? Now, UC Davis freshmen are guaranteed housing their freshman year, but after that, it can start to feel like the wild, wild west. We spoke to freshmen who are already signing leases for next school year, and they told us about some of the challenges and competition they're feeling to get an ideal place. As students try to focus on their studies, they're also thinking about where they'll be living next year. UC Davis recently released their fall 2022 results of their apartment vacancy and rental rate survey. The 0.5% vacancy rate in Davis is a drop compared to the 1.4% rate for fall of 2021. The rate is lower than what UC Davis student affairs were hoping for, but they say there are a few factors that come into play. The first is that more commuters may be coming back to campus as the university adds more housing. I think we're also seeing a kind of a rebalancing of the density uh, where students may have been sharing space before. That may be less now. Meanwhile, some students are feeling the pressure as they try to secure off-campus apartments for the fall. I woke up at 6, I was down there by 7.15 and signed it, I think, at like 8.30 in the morning. They opened at 8. We took the last two-bedroom apartment there, and all of the three bedrooms were already gone by the time we got there. So it was, it was definitely a fight to get it. Other students haven't had as much luck. We were trying to get an apartment at Sycamore. And when we went, we went like a couple hours early before they said they would start leasing. They said people had been there since 10 p.m. the night before, camped out and waited, so everything was full. Finances are also a factor that come into play. One of our roommates is also coming from out of state, so she's already paying an extra amount for tuition. And she also has to pay for like housing, which is going up now. According to the survey, rents for bed and unit leased apartments increased by a combined average of 10.4% since fall of 2021. However, most on-campus apartments have an escalation cap of about 3.5%. Despite the survey results, the university hopes recent additions to student housing will make an impact. This fall, 1,500 new beds are becoming available at the Orchard Park apartment community. I still remain optimistic. You know, we're, we've brought on a lot of new properties both on campus and within the city of Davis. Uh, so I, and enrollment is staying consistent over the next few years. So, so I think that we will see this start to balance out shortly. Now, for some context to those numbers, you know, it can be very alarming to see some of those. But UC Davis says their on-campus housing is actually still below the rent uh, market prices for the city of Davis. And they also offer on-campus housing like places like the Green, where second-year students are a priority when it comes to housing. That being said, a lot of the students we talked to said they're opting to live off campus, and that's where they're going to see a lot of the factors from that survey coming into play. Mm -hmm.